Oh, yes, all for the small price of your soul. Imagine, if you can, building a house, building it exactly the way you want it, everything you've ever wanted to have in a house you bought, built, and put in there. You built this from the ground up. You didn't pay anyone to make it. You paid for the materials and made it yourself. This house is because of your handiwork. Now imagine finish building this house, and as soon as you're about to go into it and enjoy the labors of your hard work, a man comes up to you and says, uh, I got paperwork here stating that Bob down the street has sold me your house. Now, you own the house. All the legal paperwork says that pretty much you own the house. Bob has no connection to the ownership, the land, or the house. In fact, you barely even know Bob. But yet somehow Bob has sold your property, has sold what you own to this third man. Well, that's what this man in the video is trying to get across to you. He wants you to believe that we as mankind can sell our own souls to the devil but there's a problem with that our souls don't belong to us we didn't create our souls in fact they're not really ours to begin with god the creator made these souls god the creator designed them in his image and how he liked it every trait that you have every talent that you can do is because God has built that into you. Our souls belong to God. Whether or not we follow Jesus Christ, whether or not we accept his gift of salvation, doesn't matter. It's void, it's mute, it's, it's not even an arguing point. Because the owner of the soul is the creator of the soul. We can't sell what we don't own. This is Pastor Joe Collins with another Christianity Made Simple.